Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lies of P demo. The full game again comes out September 19th and right now just playing the demo. Can I level up here? I distinctly remember not being able to level up here. Yeah. Uh, I came in through there so I'm supposed to go over here. Also, I know this is like the 80th time I've changed it. I think this is the last time though. I think I got it. We got a brand new grappling hook on our arm, which is sick as hell. Just need to find someone or something to use it on. I don't see anything out here. Is, that, is this just like a training hall for us to practice the grappling arm on? Buggy. I don't know if we're supposed to go down this hallway or upstairs or what. I know we're supposed to try and find Geppetto. I expect guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonio, and this is my hotel. Welcome. Whoa. I knew from the moment we met the George of Petto's puppet. He might have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysium Boulevard, and he never came back. If he doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. You do take care of yourself out there. Someone's memory and show off clothes. I mean, that's way better than the clothes I was wearing. God damn. That looks sick as hell. Oh yeah, that's so much better. I'm gonna investigate the piano. That was lame as hell. Alright, let's see if we can find a Geppetto in Elysian Boulevard. Probably something to do with going up these stairs. This would probably be it. If, if I had to guess, if there was a hundred dollar bounty on where Elysian Boulevard is, I'd say it's down this way. Alright, time to fuck some bitches up. Elysian Boulevard entrance. Cloudy morning. Does the weather and time of Hey, let's be more careful. Day matter? The Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hate these guys. But don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. We'll talk later. When we're safe. I hate that. I don't know how I feel about Gemini being a uh, talking companion. Why can I not level up here anymore? Can I only level up at this one? I'm gonna cut that whole part out because uh, waiting for low times is annoying. Hopefully, we get to fight another boss before this demo ends. That'd be fun. As it stands, these enemies are a little bit, uh, sad. Oh, 
but that was long ago, before the puppet frenzy. One-sided door, of which I am on the wrong side of. Is that an item? Yeah, there's nothing I hate more in these kinds of games than dogs. Dark Souls 1. Dogs are the worst. What is this? A new ring? It's got more weight. It's 10. 2.4 is how much it increases by. Okay. But it also increases the physical damage reduction rate by 4.24. Alright, let's do it. As long as it doesn't make us too heavy, it's a pure benefit. Man, what the hell is the point of this staircase? Is there something hidden down here? There he is, there's a ladder I didn't see. Oopsie! Jesus Christ! That's not cool, man. Going over the rooftops is really nice, though. I like it. One of the best things you can do to make exploration more rewarding in these types of games is make it so you can explore the same-ish area, but from a new perspective. I think that's really fun. Oh. Oh, God. When I said boss, I didn't mean basic enemy. Ow, fucking stop getting stuck on his leg. You know, I don't even think I have to fight him. Part of the game is knowing what battles you can fight and what battles you should run like a bitch. What the hell? God damn it. Fuck you. That white guy, Jesus Christ. Well, my chair is really squeaky and loud for some reason. I lean slightly back and it's like. <laughs> Alright, let's get back there. Can't take it too fast. Well, actually, we have a ladder right here. We drop down so we can get up there really fast. Can you climb the ladder? No, thank God. Oh, I didn't notice he was using a gun. He really is Bloodborne inspired. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill this white guy somehow. Thing is, he doesn't have anywhere near enough build up for his attacks. Stop with your fucking combos, you bitch.
It's not fair that you can fucking run after me at the speed of sound while I'm trying to run away. And you can hit like 17 times. God fucking damn it. I'm healing because I don't want to lose all those ergo I dropped. It's not worth it. It'd be a lot easier to kill this guy if I could level up. But I seem to have lost that ability for whatever reason. Which is kind of extremely annoying. Okay, that mistargeting almost killed me. That was not cool. Urgent repair tool. Probably not going to need that, though. Do I have a ranged weapon I can use? No, I'm out of those vials and molotovs and stuff. All right. Ow. See, that one was nowhere near enough. That one I couldn't even really tell he was going to swing it. That is loud. I think I understand the issue. And they're probably not going to change it. But there's a, like, delay after you do an attack. It's like just for a split second longer than I'm used to. And right there, I just stopped attacking for some reason. Oh yes, that reason is my stamina. Okay, never mind. That one was my own fault. I forgot about my stamina bar. Ow. Screw you. God damn. I need that item. And I don't need it, but I desperately want it. Electric Blitz Abrasive? See, that's a really good item. I love my abrasives. Okay, can we find another Stargazer here so I can not die and lose all my shit? Ah, what the fuck? You can turn mid-charge. Come on, I fucking hit B! You heard the fucking click of the button, B! What the fuck? I actually don't know if you heard the click of the button, B. I turned down the gain, so hopefully the, uh... Background noises won't be anywhere near as loud as they were last time. But also, the most annoying thing here, why the fuck can't I level up? That's actually super annoying. This area would probably be significantly easier if I could just level up with the ergo that I earned. kill that white bitch again. God damn it. Unless he doesn't respawn. Okay. I'll take that. It's like the Black Knights from the first Dark Souls. I wasn't going for a backstab there, but I'd be insane to complain.
Okay, let's lure him into here. Okay, down here is just an item. Nice try. Yep. Almost got me. I fucking hate that noise. I hate whispering. coming. Ah, what the fuck? You hit me through a wall. That man just straight up cheated. You ain't allowed to hit me through a wall. See, even if I dodge through it, he's still charging, so it still counts it as hitting me. That's not cool at all. Okay, goddamn. Can I get a stargazer somewhere, please? Ah, what the hell? Am I supposed to come up, or is this a side path? I can't even tell. I mean, that's good. The exploration is good. But just, I don't want to explore right now. I want to find a freaking stargazer. That's a freaking boss. I don't want to fight a boss guy. Good God. You almost got me. There's no stargazer here. What in the goddamn heck? Do I have to fight this guy, or can I just run like a bitch? Or can I try to stealth my way around him? Oh uh, god. How much damage do I do? Fucking none! He does 80. Stargazer. There's an enemy nearby. He can come down here! Oh, good god. That's why it was red. Can I freaking level up now? So I don't care, Gemini. Why the hell can I not level up? That's actually super annoying. I can switch my freaking arm. Does this other arm do anything for me? I didn't see anything on the list that's actually useful. I feel like the grappling hook is best, but like, 
how am I supposed to actually be strong enough to kill any of these guys if I can't level up? I have tons of ergo. Just not allowed to use Why, it. Hello. <laughs> I didn't know anyone was alive out here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. <laughs> I'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while. Don't worry, I won't cause any trouble. We survivors need to look out for each other. Uh, for your information. It's got resistance and pole. Special lamp pole made to enhance puppets attribute resistances when used it enhances resistance to overheat, electric shock, decay, and contamination. Legion magazine. Electric coil stick head. Electric coil stick handle. So an electric coil stick. That's an advanced weapon, not a wrong button almost 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 bought something I didn't want to. It's an advanced weapon, not a whatever I am. What are the stands again? Technique, I'm a technique character. I assume advanced is more magic y based. This guy's right outside of the Stargazer, so I don't mind throwing myself at him a couple times. What the hell? Alright, that's how that... That's so weird. I didn't want to use it again. I feel like I'm fucking dodging these things and it's just not moving me in time. Ah, oh, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, come on, you bitch. No, go away. Especially you. Like, I can't level up. What am I supposed to do here? Are you only allowed to level up a certain amount of times during the demo? That would be so stupid. Like, this is the strongest I'm allowed to get here. That would actually be one of the worst demo gates ever designed I sense something strange jeepers is that a butterfly don't know can you sense an ability to why is there a cat meowing to do with it. Dimensional butterfly. Occasionally a dimensional butterfly will appear in parts of Krat. Monad's lamp can detect the butterfly and light up red to point out its location. When the character is near the hiding butterfly, it will appear. After a certain amount of time, the butterfly will disappear into another dimension. Kill it to get useful materials. So it's a very good thing I did decide to kill it there. I think it goes back to where I was before. I need to open it. And get these dogs out of here. Okay, we're good. 
hate the dogs, man. What? That's a... I thought I was on the other side of the door I ran into earlier. Well, where's that cat meowing from? Can I save a kitty? Nope. 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 Fuck this shit, I'm out. That hit the back of my heel. Nope, I'm going up to where I was going to head in the first place. This cat meowing is actually super annoying. Oh, wow, I can't climb up this? I saw the staircase and I thought it actually would lead to something. God damn it, I have to go down there. That's a oof. You don't suppose I can uh, avoid this guy, do you? I have no idea how that worked, but I will not complain, and I will not do anything to risk it continuing to not work. Ah, what the hell? That was just rude. Workshop Union Standard Insulation Converter. What the hell even is that? Converter. Okay. So it's this piece. It's better in literally every way. Okay. Interesting. This is back up here, though. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go here. Is it through this window over here? Or this hole in the wall, I guess? Warning, petrification disease, quarantine zone, no trespassers, everyone is... Everyone is a patient or lunatic, do not speak to them. I won't speak to anyone. I promise you that. Except for this lady. For most people, this is their last stop. You are a good Samaritan for coming all the way here. I won. May I ask you a favor? My family took my baby from me and sent me here. They said it was for my own good. But it was heartless, just the same. The baby must be with its mother. Please go to Crawford City Hall and bring me my baby. Please, thank you so much. She said the baby was at City Hall. Should we check it out? I hope everybody's safe. Um. What the hell? Oh, you can't. You can't just triple wombo combo me. Don't stop and try to pull it out if you don't have it. I didn't know you didn't have one. I wasn't looking at that. Come on, go on. Open, 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 open. 
I'm gonna die right here, and I'm gonna have to just accept that. Unless I become a ancient Greek deity out of nowhere and dodge everything. Nope, his sword is 18 feet long. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to look it up. I need to know if I can level up here. Oh, that is so fucking stupid. Alright, I know what I have to do. I gotta go forward first and get my shit back. Okay. And I can use this... to go to the hotel. Because... I have to fucking look it up so I can know how to level up. You have to talk to every single person in the hotel and then go back to the blue-haired bitch. And she levels you up. Even though you get your first ability to level up at that first stargazer. So that is just really, really stupid design. I'm fine with it being a character at the hub. But don't give it to us at one of the stargazers before and then not tell us that it's gonna switch. It's goddamn. I need to increase my vitality. I need more HP. I'm also gonna eat all my ergo chunks. Good God. Yeah, stamina is not that important. I have a pretty good amount. Yeah. Increase my uh, specific type of damage by a lot and our health by a bit. Okay, see now we actually have a chance, now that we can use our ergo. I'm sorry, but that's just ridiculously bad game design to have it set for that. Okay. Now that that's taken care of though, the complaining should stop. Now that I actually stand a chance against these guys, I thought it just took away my ability to keep leveling up for the demo, like it was some sort of level cap thing. Which was why I was so annoyed, because that would have been really stupid. But no, it's something else that's also stupid, but just poorly designed. Fuck you! Yeah, no, I still don't do shit damage to you. Who the hell are you? Wait through the fucking door! Yeah, leave me alone. Oh, god damn. For your information. I didn't see. Oh, it's a shortcut. Brings me back here. I'll take it. it means less running around like a fool.
They have such a tight turn circle, I wish they could tighten up some of the animations. Just some of them. Most of them are fine, it's just some of them have a little bit too long of a delay before you're allowed to... do a new input. Oh, what the hell? That wasn't cool. In fact, that was rude. Can I open this door? Yes. Boss fight. Alchemist Bridge. Hey, that's from the... That's from my thumbnail. The image I used. You know what caused the puppet frenzy, don't you? You're their maker, practically their father. You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth. What's your problem? I'm here for the old man. Get lost. Wait. More like I know what you are. You're the devil's puppet. You can't sneak past me. Die! Yep, here's a boss fight. Ow. Ah, what the hell? That was a weird turn. Trying to learn his attacks. Ow, that was I'll kill you both, then string you up on the bridge. I actually would prefer if you didn't do that, please. Oh come on, I hit B right there, you heard it. I heard it. I felt it too, because I hit the button. Looks like you regenerate your heals by doing damage, which is actually a really cool mechanic. Oh, come on. That was instant. I don't appreciate that. That one I could probably time better, but... Come on. No, I gotta get behind him for something like that. Oh, come on, the thing popped up. Let me backstep. I got him. Oh, let's go. Gepetto. Gepetto. Finally, we meet, son. It's a dream come true. Seeing you like this, I understand why some people despise me. I invented the puppets after all. I should take responsibility as their maker. But in order for me to do that, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me? Son, take this. You'll find it most useful.
want to hear all about your experiences. But now isn't a good time. Use the stalker's key to hope we'll catch up. I, uh... I accidentally muted my mic here and didn't unmute it, so... Uh, here we just go through the door and we activate a stargazer right here and then we end the episode. So, I'm gonna just sit here and wait for that to happen and then I'm gonna do the outro. So, about that weapon assembly tool you were talking about. If you find any more weapons, let's try using them here. Oh shit, I forgot, I have to read this. Uh, weapon assemble. Assemble weapons through Eugenie at the hotel or at the stargazers in different areas. Separate your weapons into blade and handle and assemble them into new weapons that match your character's blade style. I think that's what it said at the end there. Scroll through it way too fast and I'm not re-recording this because that's at like half resolution and I can't read it. You get the idea, you can break your weapons into pieces and mix them, match them together. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of The Lies of P Demo. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.